Hello everyone, welcome to our webinar on building a unified analytics platform for Manage Engine Service Desk Plus, Manage Engine Desktop Central and Manage Engine Auth Manager. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. My name is Shara Bina and I'm a product expert at Analytics Plus. Before we get started, I'd like to share with you all some useful information on the webinar. If you have any questions over the course of this webinar, feel free to type them in using the chat or the Q&A sections found on the left panel of your screen. I'll do my best to address them towards the end of the webinar. And in the event that we run short on time, I'll respond to your questions later on via email. You can also choose to email your questions to me directly using the email address that's flashing on your screen. Over the course of this webinar, we will build a blended analytics platform using data from different IT applications and identify the multitude of ways in which an AI-driven advanced analytics solution can be leveraged to uncover unified insights across your IT environment. Let's get started. We all know the detrimental effects of data silos, which are a common woe across several enterprises. The path to establishing a data-driven enterprise is studded with various obstacles, not the least of which is the hindrance in accessing holistic information due to the existence of data silos. Let's take a look at some studies and research which breaks down the negative impact faced by organizations when dealing with multiple data sources. The data blending survey by Altrix discovered that the biggest challenges faced by enterprises are delays in accessing the required information to drive critical business decisions, which results in reduced return on investment, loss of a competitive edge, increased costs, and so much more. 90% of the surveyed analysts have stated that they were unable to access the required analytical insights due to poor data blending capabilities. Despite this insight, the same study also uncovered that only 6% of organizations have centralized their data and leveraged the power of blended data analytics. The data blending, a powerful method for faster, easier decisions survey by Harvard Business Review, discovered that in general, most organizations work with 5 to 15 different data sources. This study also predicted that this number will substantially increase over the next two years. Organizations typically use anywhere between 20 to 30 different applications, and this number varies based on the size of the organization. Some of these applications are used across their organization, whereas others are specialized tools employed within certain departments. All of the valuable data within these applications ends up being fragmented. And it is evident from the research on the subject that running an organization with data spread across different sources gives rise to a myriad of challenges. A siloed centric approach to business strategies results in conflicting ideas that never really ring true, as each data silo provides insights into a different side of the story. For most enterprises, a single source of truth becomes a pipe dream. To understand the true impact of business decisions and to execute informed business strategies, establishing and sustaining a data-centric approach across your organization is mandatory. Business leaders need to overcome disparate and conflicting data and work towards building a data-driven empire. However, merely eliminating data silos is not enough. When you simply centralize data that previously existed in silos, you are left with an exceedingly large amount of information that will take eons to cleanse, analyze, and drive insights from. Why not take your data centralization one step further and overcome silo data while simultaneously leveraging the power of AI-fueled analytics over your blended data? A blended analytics platform that correlates data from disparate data silos and generates unified insights into your business processes is clearly the need of the art. Possessing unified analytical insights into your entire environment gives your business an immense strategic edge 
over others that rely on fragmented data silos. In the past, a unified analytics platform that generates blended insights on data from different applications has been next to impossible, or at the very least, required an elaborate suit of configurations that consume too much additional time and resources. But with Analytics Plus's AI-enriched functionalities, you can now wield the power of blended analytics instantly and derive correlated analytical insights into your help desk, your endpoint management solutions, and your network monitoring software. By building an integrated blended analytics platform for your business, you can attain an all-encompassing view of your organizational data and execute strategic decisions that will blow your competition out of the water. Let's begin. Analytics Plus's AI-enriched capabilities has vastly simplified the process of establishing a unified platform of data from various IT applications. Within minutes, you can blend data from Service Desk Plus and Desktop Central and Applications Manager and Op Manager to attain a single console that displays unified insights into your IT environment. Let me quickly show you how you can blend data from Service Desk Plus and Desktop Central. In the interest of saving some time, I've already connected Service Desk Plus with Analytics Plus. Simply navigate to your Service Desk Plus workspace in Analytics Plus and head to the Import Your Data page. Select the Desktop Central tile, provide the required details, and select the data you wish to analyze. All you need to do to access blended reports and dashboards is to select this data blending checkbox and proceed with setting up the integration. And that is it. Within mere minutes, you can access out-of-the-box blended analytics that leverages data from both your help desk software and your endpoint management platform to generate insightful cross-functional reports and dashboards. The Service Desk Plus and Desktop Central Unified Dashboard is one of the pre-built visualizations generated by blending data from your help desk and your endpoint management applications. The KPI widgets at the top of the dashboard provide a quick overview into the correlation between your help desk and your endpoints, while these various reports dive into the nuances of the effect your endpoints have on your help desk and vice versa. By configuring blended analytics between Service Desk Plus and Desktop Central, you can access a unified view of your IC applications and correlate occurrences in your help desk such as spikes and in incidents with the deployment of patches and more. Did you know that insights into your endpoints can help you tackle SLA breaches? Monitoring and reducing SLA breaches is a near constant worry at the back of any IT executor's mind as this results in better compliance rates across your organization and increased end-user satisfaction when employees gain their required resolution in a timely manner. When you see your overall SLA compliance rates going down, you naturally turn to your help desk and attempt to spot inefficiencies. But in a large-scale organization spanning multiple locations, and especially in the current scenario where remote work is still favored by a majority of the workforce, tracking and ensuring SLA compliance can be quite an ordeal. With employees logging in from various remote offices and locations, it can prove difficult to accurately identify the areas and time zones where additional resources are required. Additionally, remote work brings with it a slew of technical complications in the form of VPN connections, enhanced security configurations and approvals, and much more. This increases your help desk's ticket volume, which inevitably affect your SLA compliance rates. With Analytics Plus's blended analytics platform, IT managers can overcome this frequent issue with ease. The SLA Breaches Across Remote Offices report helps managers keep an eye on every SLA breach across your organization's remote offices. You can gain vital insights into the areas where immediate action is required to avoid further SLA breaches.
The insights gained from this report is also beneficial in understanding and improving your help desk's SLA configurations. A large deviation of SLA breaches across your offices tells you that you may need to restructure your SLA configurations to match those locations. However, if you have high percentages overall, it would be best to allocate additional resources to your help desk to avoid disrupting business processes. Now that we have correlated data from the help desk with the data in your endpoint management software, let's take a quick look at how you can unify data from your application and network monitoring platforms and leverage the power of infrastructure analytics with ease. This particular process is extremely straightforward. By simply integrating both applications with Analytics Plus, you can automatically generate a single unified workspace that is built by combining data from Op Manager and Applications Manager. Several out-of-the-box reports and dashboards are generated instantly by correlating data from your network and application monitoring platforms. Let's take a look at some scenarios where establishing a holistic view of your organizational data and uncovering a common thread between various departmental processes allows business leaders to overcome a plethora of challenges. Security breaches are a constant fear for any enterprise. You risk losing customer data and in turn their trust in your product and millions while trying to remediate the security breach. To that end, endpoint management solutions that identify vulnerabilities and automate patch deployment to fortify your organization are increasingly vital. Analytics for endpoint management solutions proves highly beneficial in this regard by identifying missing patches and vulnerable endpoints across your environment. Deploying immediate fixes in the form of patches thus proves crucial in fortifying your environment against malicious security threats such as zero-day vulnerabilities and malware. However, applying immediate, untested patches to a computer inadvertently brings about various issues in the workstation, which ultimately results in a surge in service requests and incidents in your health desk software thereby increasing the load on your help desk technicians. To better understand the correlation factor between essential security updates and the instance in your help desk, let's take a look at this report. The new patches and instance correlation report is an out-of-the-box report that combines data from Service Desk Plus and Desktop Central to identify the variation in incoming help desk instance when new patches are deployed across your environment. Now, while this report has roped in past data from your help desk and endpoint management platforms to draw correlations between incidents and patch updates, managers can also leverage Analytics Plus's powerful forecasting engine to predict future values. This can be pretty handy when planning routine patch deployments as managers can foresee the increase in help desk incidents and assign additional help desk resources and technicians or restructure SLAs to prepare for a sudden onslaught of tickets. You can also gain immediate descriptive insight into this report by simply clicking the Zia Insights icon on the top right corner. Zia, our in-house AI-powered analytics assistant, will then automatically generate conceptual descriptions of your report saving you the time spent in analyzing the displayed visualization yourself. To avoid such surges in help desk requests that clearly disrupt business processes, you can ensure you deploy patches during non-business hours. It is also a good idea to practice testing patches across a subset of your workstations before implementing company-wide patch deployments. Continuing on the vein of changes in a different department leading to a rise in your help desk incidents, there is another varying factor that deeply influences the number of tickets that are raised within your organization. The addition of new computers. Consider this scenario. When an employee is provided with a new workstation, they would undoubtedly require several additional resources and access to company domains and accounts while configuring their device. 
This results in a slew of new tickets being raised in your help desk. To better understand the correlation between your help desk's load and computer addition, let's take a look at the Incident and Computer Addition Correlation Report, which is another pre-built report that is available as a part of Analytics Plus's blended platform. This report sheds light on the correlation factor between the number of computers being added to your organization on a daily basis and the corresponding increase in help desk incidents. A quick way around this is to restructure your endpoint addition strategy such that it accounts for consequence spikes in incidents by ensuring sufficient technicians and resources are available. However, a long-term solution would be to analyze the frequently raised issues when a computer is added, identify commonly sought after software or configurations, and incorporate them into your endpoint addition process. While we uncover the relation between your organization's endpoints and the incidents in your help desk, there are more avenues where Unified Analytics proves beneficial when it comes to the help desk incidents. The ultimate goal of any help desk is to reduce incoming incident volume while encouraging self-service and self-sufficiency. While various techniques and insights can be routinely leveraged to bring down incident volume, did you know that by simply choosing a different workstation model or an operating system, you can vastly cut down on your help desk incidents. We all know the immense care we take when looking to buy any electronic device for our personal use. We often go through several online reviews and user feedback and check in with local vendors because who would want to end up with a patchy device that constantly causes trouble? While these steps are justified for a one-off purchase, Business leaders tend to look for efficient, economical, and familiar versions of assets while making enterprise-wide purchase plans, as it is simply not feasible to carry out such detailed research when buying assets in bulk for an enterprise. However, by correlating your existing endpoint data and the incidents in your help desk, you can quickly establish a common thread between a workstation's OS platform and the number of incidents in a help desk. When a specific platform contributes to a high number of help desk incidents, it would be safe to assume that the underlying software will inadvertently result in issues and breakages. While this report identifies incident-prone operating systems, you can take it a step further to identify the various operating systems that inevitably result in the longest resolution times using the next report. By leveraging insights from these two reports, you can identify which operating systems would prove more trouble than their worth to your organization. And by making the simple choice of configuring a different operating platform, you can overcome avoidable surges in your help desk incidents. And if these two reports weren't enough to depict the immense domino effect software assets have on your IT environment, let's take a quick look at our next report. The device type generating the most alarm report uncovers the correlation between software assets and subsequent alarms raised across network and application monitoring platforms. The insights gained from these reports clearly shows us that the Windows 2008 operating system proves more troublesome than its worth across your IT environment. IT managers can leverage insights from these pre-built reports to filter out incident-prone hardware and software assets and rework asset purchase plans accordingly. On the flip side, there are also a handful of IT assets that are blessings in disguise and do not result in too many breakages and downtime. The Incident Free Endpoints Report allows you to identify these workstations that have not resulted in any help desk tickets and acts as a good frame of reference while making future asset purchase plans.
We all understand the devastating effect a security breach has on an organization. But the hidden caveat that most companies don't correlate with security breaches is the increased load on help desk technicians when the organization's hardware and software assets are compromised. When executives operate in a crisis-solving mode and are looking at other departments during a data breach, it would be the last thought on anybody's mind to consider the subsequent effect of a security breach on your help desk's technicians and processes. Think about this for a minute. When our files are corrupted by malware, what do we do? When our privileged accounts are compromised, who do we turn to? When higher management informs us of potential security breaches, what are we asked to do? Every single scenario ends with employees raising help desk tickets, which inadvertently increases the workload on the technicians manning the help desk, as these are avenues where self-service or template resolutions don't work and manual intervention is required. The Technician's Handling Endpoint Incidents Report helps managers identify help desk technicians who frequently handle incidents that are a direct result of endpoint behavior. When the number of endpoint-related incidents grow, goes up, the overall workload on the help desk technicians increases as well. It is evident from this report that putting out the fires caused due to security breaches can have a negative impact on your help desk technician's workload. It would be best practice to configure additional manpower and resources to your help desk during times of crisis. However, the ball doesn't quite stop here. When your technicians are overworked and are dealing with a larger number of tickets than usual, it inevitably reflects on the resolutions they provide and end-user satisfaction takes a hit. Ensuring end-user satisfaction is an important aspect of fostering productivity in any enterprise. If employees don't get the help and resolutions they require, especially during critical data breaches, business processes or the company's reputation can take a hit. Let's look at some ways you can leverage analytics to ensure end-user satisfaction. A major cause of unhappy customers is when help desk technicians have too much on their plates and are unable to give their all towards each ticket resolution. And when vulnerabilities are detected in your endpoints, a surge in help desk incidents is imminent. In such scenarios, you can leverage the technician load factor report to identify technicians with the highest number of open tickets and the least amount of time available to resolve them. When you inadvertently assign additional requests to these particular technicians, end-user satisfaction undoubtedly takes a dive. In such scenarios, you can reassign some of the tickets to the technicians who have more time on their hands to distribute technician workload evenly. However, while distributing technician workload, ensure you keep an eye on your technician reassignment factor as nothing can bring down user satisfaction more than having to spend hours explaining an issue in depth to a technician only to have the request transfer to another technician and start from scratch all over again. While some level of technician changes and escalations are warranted, too many changes can negatively impact end user experience. As evidenced by the information displayed in this report, while user satisfaction scores were consistently high initially, as the number of technician changes rose up, there is a clear drop in the overall satisfaction scores across your help desk. To tackle this, it is best to cut back on frequent or unnecessary technician changes and rework initial ticket assignments to ensure accuracy. When the number of technician changes across incidents in a help desk are high, it can point to several potholes in your help desk setup. Managers can infer that the initial assignment was incorrect, that the technicians didn't have the necessary resources to handle that specific ticket, or that the technicians were unable to resolve that ticket, 
all of which are quite alarming. And when there's a sudden spike in technician changes, it is best to take a closer look and rework overall help desk practices. User feedback is a fundamental pillar in any enterprise, regardless of the product or service you offer. As one of the best ways to ensure business sustainability is to hear your end user's input and consistently refine your business processes. Not only will this boost end user satisfaction, it also provides vital insight into how your services are being received by your customers and peers. The Factors Affecting Satisfaction Score report helps you identify the level of impact common issues such as escalations and reopens have on user experience and clues you in on the root cause of a low satisfaction score. This provides vital insights on the performance of the various processes in a help desk, enabling you to work towards improving end user's experience across your organization. Beyond merely understanding the factors that impact user satisfaction, wouldn't it be great if you had access to a checklist of sorts that identified the different processes that can be improved within your department? Previously, you would have to carry out research that consisted of several employee surveys, analyze their responses, and collate your findings into a single to-do list. However, all you need to do now is open a single report. The Areas of Improvement report collates every technician's satisfaction rating and identifies the avenues where the end users were unsatisfied with the technician's request resolution process. By leveraging these two reports, you can identify the problematic avenues where your entire department would require additional training or resources, and take it a step further to pinpoint each technician's Achilles heel and work towards boosting performance overall. Over the course of the session, we uncovered irrefutable proof that an activity which originates in one department causes a ripple effect across your entire organization. However, when your organizational data exists in silos, this common thread isn't visible thereby inhibiting enterprise efficiency and business sustainability. By leveraging Analyst Plus's enhanced data blending capabilities and the multitude of out-of-the-box reports and dashboards, organizations can overcome the struggles of disparate data and establish a data-driven empire that revolutionizes the very fabric of existing business strategies. Let me quickly cover everything we discussed over the course of this webinar. We identified the need for centralized data and a holistic approach to analytical decisions. We went through the quick steps you can take to build a unified analytics platform by correlating data from Service Desk Plus, Desktop Central, and App Manager. We then discussed in detail the multitude of ways in which blended analytics can be leveraged to further your businesses, correlating, which were correlating endpoint security and instant volume, understanding the impact of assets on help desk incidents, measuring the compounding impact of security breaches across other departments in your enterprise, understanding the impact of increasing technician workload during breaches, and accounting for and improving user satisfaction rates due to overworked technicians. These reports and dashboards were built using Analytics Plus, Manage Engine's business intelligence and advanced analytics solution. Using data spanning across Service Desk Plus, Desktop Central, App Manager and Applications Manager. Beyond offering comprehensive analytical capabilities, Analytics Plus also provides out-of-the-box integration with several IT applications. This includes various Manage Engine applications like Service Desk Plus, Desktop Central, Mobile Device Manager Plus, PAM360, Applications Manager, to name a few. The Advanced Analytics Platform also provides pre-built analytics for various third-party IT applications such as Jira Software, ServiceNow, and Zendesk. 
The primary benefit of these out-of-the-box integrations lies in the fact that it can be configured within minutes, post which you can access the numerous pre-built reports and dashboards that are generated. Every single report we covered during the course of this webinar was a part of the pre-built reports that were generated by simply configuring blended analytics between various IT applications. So if you would like to attain a hands-on experience and apply these reports over your company's data, all you need to do is download the Analytics Plus application and set up the integration to access the insightful reports and dashboards. Beyond offering out-of-the-box insights for major IT applications, Analytics Plus continually strives to facilitate self-service on every level of its platform. A key player that facilitates this is our AI-driven analytics assistant, Sia. If you're just getting started with analytics and find BI tools to be daunting, Zia is your new best friend. All you have to do is strike up a conversation with Zia, either via text or voice, and Zia will automatically generate the insights required to further your analytics journey. While this removes the task of having to build a report yourself, Understanding and breaking down the information displayed in a visualization can, can take up a lot of time. We've got you covered even then. With Zia Insights, you can attain a rate of detailed interpretation of your reports at the mere click of a button. This feature proves beneficial, especially in cases where immediate action is crucial in putting out fires within your organization. You can leverage Zia's conversational prowess to dig deeper into your data, to uncover hidden information and perform root cause analysis, and also use the forecasting engine to foresee future trends and modify business strategies accordingly. Another beneficial and handy feature in Analytics Plus is a scenario analysis functionality. Using what if analysis, you can execute powerful scenario analysis over your reports to visualize various outcomes based on a single deciding factor. By understanding the business impact when changes occur ahead of time, you can adjust your strategies and, and achieve business objectives with ease. You can also set up threshold-based alerts for your reports and get notified via in-app alerts or email. This saves, you the this saves you the trouble of having to recheck your reports manually to avoid missing out on business critical changes. It is also very helpful in notifying you of suspicious activities that occur within your environment. We've covered a lot of information through the course of this webinar, and I hope you benefit from this session. If you'd like to try out these reports for yourself, you can quickly download the Manage Engine Analytics Plus application, which provides a free, all-inclusive 30-day trial. Simply scan the QR code that's flashing on your screen, or use the download link found in your chat window to head to the download page. You will be able to download and get the application running with ease. Once you've installed the application, it should take you mere minutes to configure blended analytics and access all the pre-built reports and dashboards. And with that, we have reached the end of this webinar. So that's about it from me, folks. If you had any questions or concerns during the session, please do contact me using the email address that's on your screen right now. I'd truly love to hear from you and strike up a conversation about the latest advancements in IT analytics. Thank you for taking the time to join the session. Take care, everyone. Have a great day ahead.